What is up guys? I'm Spencer. In today's video I'm going to be doing a BMX how-to for beginners. It's actually going to be a sequel to this video which is called the key to learning BMX tricks. If you haven't checked it out I recommend you check it out because this one's going to pick up where that one left off but if you've already seen that one then you are in the right spot. That video did pretty well for me. Got like over 200,000 views which is, which is pretty good for me. So here I am making a sequel. Got good feedback on that one. So we're going to pick up where that one left off. And we're actually in the same spot where that one left off. Actually, I was like 30 feet over there. But pretty much the same thing. So I'm just gonna go over some tricks that are low risk, maybe a little difficult for you guys, but they're low risk and they're they're pretty much targeted for anyone that rides bikes. Not, not gonna be scary, it's just gonna be fun stuff for you guys to try if you're getting into BMX or thinking about getting into BMX. Just some, some ideas to th throw into your head to try. Before we start, I recommend everyone Wears a helmet, BMX is dangerous. You can get hurt doing absolutely anything, just like you could get hurt walking or driving a car. But you know, you gotta assume the risk and protect yourself. You know, safety first, kids. I'm all about the kids on this channel. Never anything bad. It's all it's all good. So make sure you subscribe if you're watching this with your kids because it's all fr family friendly. It's all good stuff here. We're gonna start off with one of my favorites. It's gonna be a little hard but this is the sequel, so we can't start off easy. We're gonna do a little foot jam to fakie, which is, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna ride up, foot jam. You're gonna get the full breakdown, guys. This, this is not no half-ass how-to, okay? Oh, I cussed, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, kids. I won't slip again. This is a very in-depth how-to, okay? I'm gonna break down every trick, okay? I'm gonna break it down. Here we go, foot jam fakie. Let me show you one real quick. So what most people do is they take their front foot because it's close to the tire and you just jump, put your foot in and put all your weight on your tire. That's why it's a, see my foot is jammed, foot jam. Some people do use their back foot, but as you can see, a little bit of a farther gap. This one, you just barely like instantly in there. It's super easy to get out of. I'll show you one here in a second. All you do is like, if you feel like you're going too far forward, all you gotta do is take your foot out and put it, put it on the ground, you know? You know, you guys know how what we're standing on the earth is, so theoretically, once you take your foot out of the tire, you reset and you're just back to normal pedestrian on your feet. So I'm gonna show you the bail real quick. You just put your foot in and just take your feet off and you're safe. For, I'll go too far forward for you guys. I'll sacrifice myself and just show you what, what happens. And if you don't know how to do a fakie, I did make a how-to for fakies. I just think it's like easier and it looks a little better when you fake you out. But I'll do one without the fake you out in case you don't know how to do that. Oof. So once you figure out how to jam it consistently, there is like a little bit of a balance point. Uh, so kind of put your chest over the bars and maybe look down at your front tire. And that's gonna kind of help you gauge. And also you wanna be flat on your tire. Like, you don't wanna hop in and be leaning over here because then it tweaks your bike out like this. You wanna be just straight on top of it so that when you kind of hop out, your bike is just like, you know, ready to go. Also when you hop out of this trick, just imagine doing like a little jump on one foot, so you like jump in and then jump out real quick. Push your momentum through the tire into the ground and pull it out so you get a little, little pop back and you can get back on your bike. Hopefully you guys can understand that trick now a little better and go out and give that one a try. But we're not done with that trick yet. We're gonna go to the next step. And this is actually the most helpful thing if you're trying to learn how to foot jam a quarter pipe. I think this is this is the best way to learn. It's a little more not beginner level, but I mean, give it a try. This is, you know. All right, this is not the ideal setup to learn this since I already know how to do it. It's not that big of a deal. But you wanna just find a curb, preferably like a sidewalk with something. This has like a little bit of a drop there, but I mean, the danger risk only goes up like, I don't even know, a fingernail. You gotta be able to nose bonk to do this one. You gotta be able to like bunny hop and get your weight forward. But we're just gonna bunny hop and foot jam and then we're gonna hop back out like this way. So just pretend that the flat ground is a quarter pipe and you can do a lot of stuff with this and learn a lot of tricks. 
But we're just gonna do foot jams now, and the thing that's gonna help on this one is a lot of mistakes people make when they do it on a quarter pipe is that they foot jam and their weight is straight down. So when they go to like spring out of it, they're just they just go up. They don't really go back into the ramp, or they'll go into the ramp and be like, and their tires will just skid. So what the correct way to do this is to go up foot jam and keep your bike at an angle this time. So when you push off, you go back in to the ramp. Here we go. I also think this is a pretty good way to learn foot jam to fake you. So let's just do that real quick. Yeah, should should work. And it worked. We're done with foot jams. I'm sorry if you guys weren't into that one, but someone was. So you're welcome, one person out there that wanted to learn that trick. Next trick we're gonna do is easier than the foot jam. I'm pretty sure it's a little more uncomfortable. An X up ride. I know it's not that hard because you're just on the ground and stuff but it is very uncomfortable if you don't position your hands the correct way. A lot of people just keep their hands just on the grips and turn, which kind of bows out your elbows. There's a dog running over there. I, I love dogs, but back to the, back to the how-to. So, <laughs> the trick to doing an X up there. Look at that bear. It's a wild bear. What is the wild bear doing? to study this behavior hit the pole in the corner what do you think that bear is doing it grew an extra tail and it just left it there amazing back to the how-to interesting stuff going out here nature um, but back to the how-to sorry about that um, like I was saying the X-Up ride a lot of people keep their hands just on the grips and turn like this which makes it a little uncomfortable but if you just make like two okay signs you know put in there it actually gives you a lot more flexibility look at that Whew. flexibility easier when you just pinch your seat while doing this. You can kind of give it a crank too. And just pick up and turn. I'm going to show you guys my favorite way to get out of this. You just like kind of finish it and do like a little bar spin. It's really fun to do and no one really does it that much. I'm going to pick up and whoop. If you guys haven't seen one of my videos before, I usually am wearing knee pads and shin pads and a jock strap while riding BMX. Jock strap especially all the time. Super comfortable to ride in. But, you know, you can never give yourself too much of a health bar, you know? The, the bigger your health bar is, the, the more you can ride. And I can kind of feel just, just pinching it in these Trey Jones shorts, pinching my seat, I, I feel a rash developing. So we're not gonna do that anymore. But I got another sweet trick for you guys to try. Amazing. I know that trick may look a little crazy, but it's it's really not that bad. You're gonna need to have pegs on your bike, at least a back peg. I'm only putting this in the video because I learned this like when I first put pegs on. It was like one of the first things I learned, so I'm sure one of you guys will learn this. It's pretty cool. Disregard my super pasty white legs. You know, I live in I live in Antarctica, so that's my excuse. So you gotta put your back foot on the rear peg. And then you're gonna dangle your left foot off, or whichever the opposite foot that's on the peg, obviously. I'll show you guys the carve real quick. I'm gonna carve at it this way, but I'm spinning this way. So just kind of watch how I kind of like counter carve it to kind of zip me into the spin really fast. So I'm gonna come out of this way, good counter carve or whatever, and then pick up here. You don't have to, you don't have to bunny hop at all. And then I'll show you what I do with the back foot. Pretty much at, right about at 180, I jam my back foot in the tire, and then it pretty much just acts as if I have brakes and just like brings it around and you just kind of spin until your front wheels on the ground. And it's kind of hard, but it's, you don't leave the ground. So the risk isn't really there that much unless you somehow tumble over your bike, but don't do that. And you can learn a fun trick like this. I'll do it a couple more times and show you guys like a slow motion of like maybe the back foot going in. Cause that's really the only tricky thing. Also a quick note about that trick, go slow, don't go fast. Go very slow and find your speed, but go slow. See that guy? Too fast, slower than that, all right? 
I'm gonna try to mess up on one just so you guys can kind of see maybe what you're getting yourself into. You decide to try this. Here we go. It's not even bad. In the previous key to learning BMX tricks, I went over that you guys should learn manuals and stuff. I didn't really give you guys that many tips on it, so I'm gonna give you a couple tips on manuals if you work on manuals, because manuals are super fun and you don't gotta leave the ground. So the risk, not really there unless you loop out and keep your feet on the pedals and just smash your back and your bum. But don't do that. Trick to the manual, okay? Lock your arms and you want to squat over here. You, you know like last time you guys took a poop in the woods or something, you know how you squat? Same exact squat. But you're gonna, put, you're gonna squat over the back tire. You're not really gonna move your arms that much once you lock them. It's gonna be mostly just in the hips. You know, you're, your hips are gonna kinda sway back and forth and kind of, you'll figure out the spot, but lock your arms, sit over the tire, and then also you can, if you have a cassette, you can like kind of pedal pressure down a little bit to get the front end up to kind of save it to go a little further. Same thing with brakes, but it's the opposite. If you lean too far back, you can pinch your brakes a little bit and it's gonna throw your front end right down. But here's a couple manuals for you guys. We're trying to come back around. Darn it. All right, I'm not gonna go that much more into how to manual just because I did a how to manual with Adam LZ like a couple years ago and I'm contracted not to talk about it much further than what I did. So take it as it is. If you guys wanna see that whole how to, just go in the search bar and type in BMX had a manual and the Admiral Z and it should pop up, but it's probably not gonna work unless you've watched all of my videos first. So, I mean, probably watch all my videos before you do that, but I mean, there's there's that information if you needed that. A lot of you guys may wanna have some style riding a bike, but you're just not there yet, you know? It, it, that's fine, it takes a while to get style. I mean, I still haven't found style riding a BMX. I've been doing it for like 10 years. But here's a little trick that's just gonna make you look good getting up those curbs. And it's super fun to do, but we're gonna do a little tire slide hop ups on curbs. Or you don't even gotta hop up. It could be a completely tire slide grind. I got new tires, so it should be good. Here we go. So this trick's pretty simple to do. Uh, all you gotta do is pick your front wheel up on the curb, get your back tire nice and snug against the curb so it's like resting on it. And then you're gonna lean all your weight forward over the handlebars, and you gotta make sure you keep your your front tire like parallel. If you guys don't know what parallel is, you know, it's two two lines that run side by side, directly straight, you know, like railroad tracks and stuff like that. Just in case you guys don't know, you know, just in case Chad's watching this. So we're gonna go parallel and you don't really wanna get your tire like that far from the thing or it's gonna slide and then you're gonna end up hopping up the curb, which is fine too, but I mean, you wanna glide, you know, glide, glide away. All right guys, daylight is gone, the sun has left us, so I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you for making it to the end. Make sure you leave some feedback for me down in the comments below. I clearly read all the feedback. That's how this video has come to be, because you guys left good feedback on the prequel to this sequel. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, helps me out, and also subscribe if, you, if you're interested in BMX or just my channel. I appreciate it if you did that, and if you already have, thank you. If you guys are keeping up with what's going on, new stickers made four more yesterday, and they're good. They're good, they're coming out soon. So just a heads up, okay? Save your nickels, because you I mean they're not that expensive, but they're coming out soon. But that's about it. So thank you guys. If you subscribed, I'll see you next time because I know I know you guys also put the notifications on. So level up, you know, this this our relationship. Level up the relationship and hit the notifications so you don't miss the next video, you know? It's you know, let's let's take this let's take this relationship t to the next step. If not, then whatever. I don't want to rush anything. So I'll see I'll see I'll see whenever you feel comfortable seeing me again. Goodbye.